Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Are you getting it in? Somebody's getting it for you. What's going on, people? <laughs> Woo, what's going on, people? It is a day of a day of another day we call Thursday. Anyway, that being said, what's going on, people? Oh, oh, I'm going to go straight in. Um, I want to talk to you in reference to men liking you because you're pretending to be a woman. You are pretending to show more of yourself aside. You are pretending to, um, you know, be someone that you're not, basically. Okay. I'm only going to do this because this is coming from a personal um, thing that just happened to me and I just figured I would share it with someone. Maybe someone else is going through the same thing as well. You know, it amazes me how people always like to say that you're pretending to be something that you're not. You know, um, I'm not pretending to be anybody but myself. Um, like I said before, um, we all come out in a certain pattern. That's why I always talk about reincarnation as far as little kids seem to know so much so fast too soon. They do so many things where parents go, oh my God, where did they get that from? Why are they doing this? Why are they doing that? They're only being themselves. They only get misconstrued and messed up when we decide to fix them. If we let people do what they're supposed to do with themselves coming out, you know, um, we can we can steer them to the right direction the way they need to go to, but to try to alter that person, unless it's, unless you don't brought back some type of killer or murderer, they're not gonna understand when you're trying to get help for your kid and stuff like that. But if you brought back someone who's just being themselves and being harmless and playful, whatever the case may be, there's nothing really wrong, nothing really wrong with them. But a lot of times we are born to people who do not accept us, and the way their values and stuff like that means that. Either they're afraid for your life or they don't want you to be who you are and they change you into what they think you need to be, what makes you be misconstrued and you have to follow your life through what their vision is. But once they let you go into the world and become who you are, who you were supposed to be, you're lost because now you'll probably be a lot further in life if you wasn't fixed. Anyway, that being said, someone hit me up on an email today and explained to me that the reason why guys like me is because I'm pretending to be a woman and my softness and stuff like that and my femininity makes a man want to be with me and stuff like that. That's why the straight man is lured into being with someone like me. It's funny because like I go back to us being a child, I was only being myself. I was only fixed to be what they wanted me to be but once everybody's gone away and it's most clear, you only return back to who you once was. You know, the thing about it is as a child, I told my mother I was a girl because everybody said I was a girl. People knew what I was before I knew what I was. People always called me what I was, but I didn't even know that's what I was. I was only being myself. And then to me, it's just like, how could you be, how could you be told how, when people try to tell you, so what, you're pretending to be something that you're not, you're not that way, so you shouldn't act that way. So that's like telling a black person that you should be black because you're only pretending to be black, but you're not really black. That's like telling a white person, you're white, but you're not really white, but you're pretending to be white. That's why you're white. That's like an Indian person telling you, you're Indian, but you're not really Indian, but you're pretending to be Indian. And then, you understand where I'm going with this? People always want to put their rules and their regulations on what they feel as though you ought to be as far as the way they see you as the way you are. We always go back to that pattern as far as don't, don't judge a book by its cover, but yet we judge the book by its cover. And the thing about it is, who would want to be gay to be sit back and be destructed as far as jumped on, beat on, made fun of, being tricked, trickery, friends to buy you over so they can laugh at you because everybody in the room waiting for you to show up? Who would invite this unwanted attention? When I transitioned into who I am, I, I really I really think I got a little, like I said before, I got a little of this and a little of this. But it's only something that I had a vision within myself. It wasn't about you. It wasn't about the next person. It was about it was me and my child saying, as a little kid, I was like, I wanted wide hips and I wanted bigger boots. I want long hair, and I, I achieved what I was looking for for myself. It was not done for men. However, there are men that are out here that are born who lives as men who only likes women who have the same body like me. There are women out here who are born as women who sit around with a beard and a mustache and everything else and mainly built strong enough that can move a car without no problem. People only going to be who they are. And no matter what you try to misconstrue because you feel as though you're looking in and you need to do some fixing, it's not about you to fix. And for me to be pretending to be something that I'm only being myself, people pointed out to me that I was different. I was only being who I was. If you're a black person being black and people want to always bet you're black, 
you're not supposed to speak in proper English because you're black. They're pointing out the problem that they have with you. You don't have a problem with yourself. This is the thing I always try to tell people when always somebody's trying to give you their advice on you, that you need to be strong and know who you are. Because there's a lot of rules that's coming out here that try to change you from who you are the way they think they need to be. And by the way, the ones who sit back and try to tell you what you need to do be the ones doing all the shit. And my thing is this, so we're going to go straight to the church. Like we're talking about the well of biblical times. No, don't talk to me about the Bible. Because my thing is this, is that if God can sit back and make me black and make you white and make you Indian, make you Chinese, make you Puerto Rican, make you Jamaican, make you all these different races and stuff like that. Don't tell me how different world goes a certain way. A, B, and C, and D does not go the way you may feel as though it need to go to. There are so many that are tall people, there are short people. Why is there tall people? Why is there short people? Why is this this way? Why don't you go ask your God why is that? Why is it that you made everybody? Why is you made so many different races? Why did you make the person blonde? Why did you make the person short? Why did you make women tall? Why did you make men so short? Why is it that women don't want a short man because there's so many of them? Why is it that women that are tall, men are inferior of them because they're scared at the end of the day that she may end up whooping his ass? Why is it that sit back and we, we go through all this suffering and the hunger and stuff like that when there's food within the world? Why is it that we can't just get along and live inside of a world that's really not our world? Why is it we live in a spiritual world? Why is it there's more on this earth that we like to realize? Why is it there's other, other universes out here that exist? Then there's Pluto, the planet, your, um, <laughs> Venus. I was about to say Serena. <laughs> But there's so many different, why is all these different things in this world? Why do people feel so that things have to be? Why is a woman can have two babies? How is a woman can have eight babies? There are so many things that are different within this world that we cannot explain. So why is it when you come to me, you feel like I ought to walk a certain pattern within myself? Because you don't know my story, but yet you're so willing to judge, but you forget that when your turn comes, when you can judge, oh, well, I don't want to hear it. You get all indignant and you fall out of place. Because when you judge me, you know someone is judging you. But why is it such a problem when your turn comes, but it's never a problem when my turn comes? Sure, you can sit back and you can judge me all you want. That's your job. That's what you do. Because if you had a life, you wouldn't do that. My folk, your focus would be on me. But you have no life. Well, I decided, like he said, I decided that I might want to be with someone like you. Motherfucker, when was I available to be with you? You don't pick me, I pick you. That's the thing y'all get misconstrued. I'm not one of them little girls that sit around here and just cry. Oh my God, I just want a man. I want a man so bad. Why don't these men love me? I could give two flying fucks. And my thing is this is when I transitioned, I did not know I had to date straight men. And I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I did not know. And I'm going to have to cut this video right now because it's probably going to go half and I'm not going to do an edit. But I'm going to go back right to what I said. I did not know I had to date straight men. And I'm about to start the next section on that. Okay. And like I said before, I did not know I had to date straight men. And once I found out that I had to date straight men, it was just not an easy journey for myself. Because the first thing I was thinking, that dude, if I had to date straight men, and it's going to be a problem because of what I am, and then they're going to want to do this, and they're going to want to do that, and... <sighs> First of all, this the straight men that we call the straight men is not really actually all that straight. I mean, the thing about it is that you come through the door, you 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 suck dick better than I do. Your fucking your hole is bigger than mine. Everything is just all the way to the left of the board. You want me to be the man inside the bed and not you, but you're supposed to be the straight man who can't be seen with me. But at the end of the day, you're the more woman than me. Maybe the hormones are in the wrong body. Anyway, that being said, first of all, let me tell you something. I don't need you to feel sorry for me. I don't need you to sit back and say, well, you know what? I could be with a girl like you, you know, if, um, you know, um, I, I kind of feel bad because I could be with a girl like you if, um, you know, if, if we could just move away somewhere far away that nobody don't know me. So that means in order, be, order for you to be with me, that means you have to go somewhere that nobody knows that me and you exist together because simple fact of matters, you can't be seen with me. Do you know how much of an insult that is? Do you know how much of an insult it is? And half of you guys who sit up there and tell us that you are some ugly motherfuckers. You look like gorillas from the mist. And the simple fact of the matter that gets me the most is that most of the girls like me are so fucking beautiful and stunning to have to split ourselves through such judgment when motherfuckers, if we ever look back at you and look at how you look, you look like shit. You're halfway this tall, you're halfway this bag, your body is all fucked up, your face is fucked up, you ugly as shit. It's like two gorillas made a baby here, you come out going just about, bitch, you come from the gorilla of the mist. And this is the thing that gets me the most. 
We don't really fucking need you. You coming to our house because you need what we got. And the simple fact of the matter is that you want to sit back and try to pass judgment on us? Oh, well, I'm starting to think about being with you. I like what I see. Motherfucker like from and from over there. If you really like what you see, the motherfucker represented with some motherfucking money. You don't want to take us out. You don't want to do anything with us. And it's so sad that so many girls out there are so young and dumb and full of cum that they can't even realize their fucking worth. And you men beat them down and being so damn stupid that they don't even get on. To what's actually happened. But like I said before, everybody loves a dumb dumb. A dumb dumb is the most dumbest bitch in the world. You can have her suck in your cock. You can have her suck in your friend's cock. You can come on her face. You can make her swallow your cum. You can do anything. That's a dumb dumb. And everybody wants a dumb dumb bitch. She'll go to work. She'll give you her money. She'll fuck you. She'll, she'll let you fuck her on the street. She'll let you slap her in the face. She'll let you punch her in the jaw. She'll let you beat her the fucker. She'll let you choke her down. That's a fucking dumb dumb. Are you a dumb dumb girl? Are you a dumb dumb? Because these motherfucking men get it all misconstrued. And my thing is this is that when I transitioned into what I am, I was already there. It's just that everything was outside wasn't the way I wanted proportionally. Like some girls full of stuff, they have to do certain things with their body to get the way they want. I did what I wanted to do to get to my body. But it has nothing to do with you. And my thing is this my life is not my life is not bared around having a man. Some of you bitches are fucking desperate to have a man. These motherfucking men think that they're gods. Y'all need to take these men down a few down a few steps. That's the reason why these men treat y'all like shit, because they feel like they're God and they picking you like you some damn animal in a fucking cage. And until y'all fix that shit, that's going to be on y'all, not me, because I'm not the one. And like I said before, I love a man just like the next person do, but I'm not going to tolerate his bullshit. And I'm not going to have some man who full of, oh, I'm, I got my bachelor's, I got my um associate's degree. Motherfucker, take a boat and stick it up your fucking ass. Who gives a fuck? I'd rather take the poorest motherfucker in the world than have a, a bitch that want to tell me all this how much of, of a life that you done got to. It's not even all about that. You could be the baddest guy in the world with the most expensive gifts that you could possibly get to somebody. Else. But if you fucked up in here, ain't a goddamn thing I can do with you. Anyway, that being said. And another thing is that when I transitioned, I did not know how to date straight men. I would have, I preferred I would stay with the kind that I like. I like being with my gay people. I like being around my gay people. Why the fuck would I want to date straight men? Have you motherfuckers knock up girls and give them babies? You motherfuckers are out before the fucking baby pops out the pussy. So why the fuck would I want to be with you? And I was you can't even stick to something that you don't know, rebirth and born inside the world. Anyway, that being said, I think I'm going to the left and I'm not even in a bad mood. But the thing about it is, I'm just so sick and tired of people telling me how much I'm pretending to be something and they feel as though they can, you know, um, well, I, I don't judge you. Bitch, you already judging me. Now let's ask you, the ones who like to judge me and say I'm pretending to look, look at your motherfucking self. And I tell you to look at yourself. I want to, I, I, I want you to do this to me. I want you to do this. If you are the kind of person that is so fucking good, I want you to be somebody in a fucking glamour magazine. I want you to be somebody who else motherfucking drop dead gorgeous. I want you to be fine as fuck. I want you to be somebody who could be a pose inside of a picture. I want you to be somebody who is just so fucking gorgeous. I want you to be, I want you to, this is the kind of person I want you to be. I want you to be, and these are girls, because this is what I do. I look at girl pictures, sorry, there's no boy pictures here. But I want you to be something out the magazine. If you're not, if you're not a dude that look like something out this magazine, and I know half of you ugly motherfuckers think you're cute, but bitch, I'm going to tell you. The only person think you cute is the bank that you drop your check off in, and the mother that push you out because you look just like her ugly ass, and her ugly ass look just like you. And so obviously you're going to think you're cute because ugly attracts ugly. And honey, you think she got you so suit the fuck up, you can come back and judge somebody else? Well, have you beastly, you beastly looking motherfuckers should have several seats. But if you don't come out of this motherfucking magazine, and I mean, if you is not gorgeous, it should be in a magazine that everyone you go to is so fucking gorgeous. Don't come for me. Don't come for me. Don't come for me. Because my thing is this is that. You may be hood cute. And you may look straight. But that works for some girls. Oh, but he's cute. He looks straight. I don't give a flying fuck what you look like. I work for one thing, and that's Capital One. That wants to know what's in your wallet. Anyway, that being said, I'm going to let it go back there because I done said a little too much. I just went over to the left, and it's not exactly what I said on. But I do want to sit with back the matter. I don't want no guy to feel as though he has to feel sorry for me in order to be with me and stuff like that. I'm not looking for no hand-me-downs, and I'm looking for no handles. I waved the white flag a long time ago. Only thing a man can do for me is to show me the back of his motherfucking head after he left some, some fucking money on my nice fantasy leave. Anyway, that being said. I want to say hello on the people. Boom. <laughs> I want to say hello people. Bam. <laughs> and I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I want you to do you. I want you to do you the best way you can. <sighs> Mother has said too much today. <sighs> and if nobody don't like it, then fuck them. Oh.